So when I found out I was coming to Papa, the first thing I did was go to Google and try to find out a little bit about the base. The first image that pops up is this great photo of two airmen in ABUs walking down Walking Street. And uh, I thought it was a very interesting place to go. One of the neat parts of the, of the base is how old it is, and it has this very Eastern European, Soviet era feel to it. And as you drive on to the base, you're coming to this multi-million dollar facility that was built specifically for the 12 nations for the heavy airlift wing. This is not your United States Air Force anymore. Yes, we have standards that we have to uphold from a U.S. Air Force perspective, but you are going to find yourself open to opportunities that you never had the ability to even contemplate on the U.S. Air Force side. There are no other units like this in the world. We're the only one that's been created by 12 different nations to do a specific task. Uh, and the byproduct is successful airlift to the nations, whether it's in the form of a humanitarian relief to the earthquake to Haiti, whether it's an AeroVac carrying the Bucharest burn victims to the UK, whether it's supporting a French mission by Swedish flight hours in and out of Mali. We don't fall under the NATO structure. NATO doesn't tell us what to do. Right here, we're doing our own thing. From a flyer's perspective, we go places where the U.S. Air Force doesn't go and maybe has never gone. Uh, and it, it enhances that experience level of the individuals that are here. Each military isn't here for their own purpose. They're all here for the heavy airlift wing mission, and they all work as one. So I could have supervisors that I've had from Norway, from Sweden. I've had coworkers from the Netherlands, Finland. If everyone had the same uniform on, I wouldn't even know I'm, I'm in a multinational unit. Yeah, I definitely understand the battle space, if you will, on how to, how to interact and how to deal with our European partners, how to understand where they come from, both culturally and where their militaries are, and it's huge for any of the individuals here. And it's not just me as the, the commander of the organization, that's across the board. Any individual that's part of this unit is gonna walk away with some of that.